next clip I'm going to play here is Brendan talking about squashing the beef with Annie Liederman. This is an interesting clip because I felt like if you're Brendan's wife, you have to be a little bit annoyed at that picture of Brendan and Annie at the at Skankfest. Unless, obviously, they spoke about it before privately themselves. But essentially, you know, Annie, in her own way, tried to destroy their relationship. Maybe break up their family by putting out that info that Brendan tried to um, offer her a truck walk, a.k.a. tell her, hey, do you want to come and suck my dick in my fall at F-150? Allegedly, right? That is what was put out there. So you'd be a little bit miffed if suddenly now your partner was at a comedy festival uh, far away from you in Las Vegas, the land of fucking cocaine and strippers, suddenly standing next to this person that tried to ruin your family. You'd be a little bit miffed by it. So I think if you're the wife, you'd be annoyed. If you're Brendan, you really wanna, wouldn't be want to be a friend, I'd imagine, because again, she tried to embarrass you, tried to expose you online and shit. That's obviously not cool. You brought a lot of trolls your way. It maybe added to the hate you were already getting. It kind of maybe led to the whole Kalila thing and the Bobby Lee thing. You can have a lot of reasons why you're not going to be friends with her and not like her. And plus, she said you weren't funny, right? She got on a podcast and said something like, oh, if, if you're rich, no, if you're poor in comedy and I'm rich in fucking humor or something like that, whatever she said, something really funny that I can't remember. Um, but it was also something very insulting. You obviously wouldn't be friends with her either. But unfortunately, the comedy scene's a little bit complicated. And there's obviously a little bit of a Game of Thrones thing going on there. And clearly, it looks like they had to make amends for the sake of each other's career, probably. And they did so, which is, you know, it kind of is what it is. But I'm curious to hear what Brendan's impression was of that squashing of the beef. Because again, on paper, if you believe what Annie said, if you believe her account on things, you know, he really doesn't really have much place to stand on, on this, you know, you off, allegedly you propositioned one of your female comedic peers, whether or not they wanted to come and suck your dick in the front seat of your very big white 450, which is insane, right? Because it, it kind of tells you what must happen behind closed doors at comedy clubs somebody would want imagine to, to ask somebody something like that you'd imagine most likely it has happened before so probably some comedians have got their dick sucked in car parks you know after the club which is wild because you'd imagine if you're a comedian and you've got your car in a car park it's probably a car that everybody knows it's probably with somebody that everybody's familiar with so everybody can see you either fucking smashing you in the back seat or getting your dick sucked in the front seat that's what make me believe that I'm kind of I'm kind of running with that sort of like narrative or narrative imagine how nuts that is so if you believe Annie's um you know account of what happened even though she didn't mention Brendan's name she doesn't really have much she didn't really do anything wrong she shared a story her experience she didn't like what happened she shared it on her podcast it is what it is but I want to hear what Brendan has to say about his encounter with Annie Diederman at Skankfest and what led to them squashing it let's hear what he has to say about this because i'm really curious to hear his account let's hear it yeah then and then annie letterman people think me and her hate each other we, and what's funny and you know i'm sure it was by design is my first set it went me then her and i have to bring her on so that whole thing about me, people think me and annie hate each other is odd because but it also sounds a little bit like his refusal to accept that dana white doesn't like him He'll say loads of fucked up shit about Dana. He'll kind of insult Dana's ability to run the UFC. He'll maybe say some stuff about Dana's personal life when it's in the news. Um, he'll maybe go back and forth with Dana online with, and say some really, you know, aggressive dissing type of stuff because they're, they're obviously not on good terms. But then when somebody asks him a question about Dana, they would be like, yeah, me and him are good. We're great. No, you're not. Why do you think your view on your relationship with him is his view? He could sit there and think, I hate you forever, which is probably likely because Dana's quite a petty dude. I don't think he's somebody that forgives too easily. So it does that often. I wonder what that's all about. Is that like a is that like a brain thing? Like why does he why does he do that? Like he's unable to see why somebody else may not be as forgiving as he is in his brain about his own thing that he did. It's a very odd thing. Like people think me and her are not friends. Um, why would they think that? Because you allegedly may have asked her for a drug walk. Isn't that an easy reason why somebody won't like you? Didn't you not like each other before? Hence why you squashed it. Like what? 
<laughs> you know, I'm sure it's by design. And I think they thought there was friction there. But little do they know, me and Annie spoke months ago at the comedy store. It's all good. Yeah, she apologized. Yeah. She apologized. I'd love to hear her account on this stuff. Why did Annie apologize to Brendan for him allegedly asking her, do you want to suck my dick in the front of my truck? What does she have to apologize for? For telling the story? Maybe. That's possible. Because I think we spoke about it in the fucking Discord. Join the Discord if you haven't already. Link in the fucking description. Join the fucking Discord. We spoke about it in the Discord and some people did say that maybe there is an unwritten rule in the comedy scene that you're not allowed to speak about the things that you see and hear about in the comedy clubs. You have to keep it to yourself. And even if it's like a bad thing, even if you get like, even imagine, God forbid, you're a woman and you get sexually assaulted in the club and shit, you can't actually speak about it. You're not allowed because you're kind of breaking the oath of like the comedy club is a sanctuary of the comedian. Blah, blah, blah. I think that's what's going on there. So maybe, unfortunately for Annie, even though that might have happened, the fact that she shared the story, it probably put in the bad books of other people or in the bad, you know, it probably put in a bad light because now people are looking at her thinking, hey, we can't trust you to keep secrets. If I'm doing bumps or lines off of this fucking waitress's tits at the comedy club, I can't trust you to not say nothing. If I'm in the back, you know, smashing somebody that looks like Missy Shaw, I can't trust you to keep it yourself. If I'm in a toilet injecting myself with fucking tar, I can't trust you to say something on your, on your fucking pod. So I get it. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a point. Who knows? But why would she apologize? That's an odd thing. Unless she lied about the whole entire thing. That's possible. Comedians do love to lie. Hassan Minaj, Burt Kreischer, right? They exist. Brendan. So maybe she just lied about the entire thing. It was, it was, it was just, and I, you know, I don't care. So, so she posted, she goes, can we take a picture? I'm like, yeah. And then she was like, all right, I'm going to post it. I'll talk to you about the caption. So then right before I'm leaving my last set, she goes, I got the caption. Uh, squash Fest. We're squashing the beef. I'm like, you're a genius. Let's That's do great. it. I love how he's calling her a genius now. Wasn't he suggesting? Wasn't he suggesting a few pods back when the beef was happening? That she was the person that... Every yeah, I think I remember correctly. There was a period in time when they were still going back and forth that he put out there that allegedly... There's a rumor going around, I think, in the comedy scene, maybe in the East Coast, um, that Anna Liederman's a joke thief, that she steals jokes. And I think that kind of came from that Kim Kong Dong, Kim Kombong, the one, that lady that's um, Luis J. Gomez's ex, right? Allegedly, her and Annie Liederman have beef I remember reading this on Reddit one time. Her and this Kim woman and Annie have beef. And I think this Kim woman is the one that accuses Annie of being a joke thief. And I think the time when Brendan went on that Kim woman's podcast with that other lady with the annoying, annoying fucking vocal fry. They've got a fucking um, podcast, Kim and the other lady. They've got in, the vocal fry is fucking way too much, even worse than Red Scare. And they were on the pod together. I think they may have told Brendan about the Annie thing on that pod, which is why he went back on his pod and basically floated the idea that, hey, this woman is a joke thief. I think so. I think so. I think so. I think so. Um, I think that's the case. Yeah, again, I'm not too sure, Uche. Don't, 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 you know, don't rest on my laurels. Do some probably, do some research yourself and find out. But I think that's the truth. I think there's some truth in that. Annie and Kim don't get on. Kim thinks Annie's a joke thief. Kim saw Brendan going back and forth with Annie, wanted to give him some, you know, um, some bullets to fire back at her to probably get in Brendan's good books, which probably would help Kim to then get on Rogan, you'd assume. Who knows? Again, how these people are working is fucking G-A-Y and super lame. But probably, you scratch my back, I scratch yours, right? You let me bang, I'll let you bang him, right? Type of thing, cool, that happens. And then it kind of trolls on from there. So that might explain why this transpired the way it did she posts it and put my comment on there i go hey i want to invite you and your boyfriend i got a new truck if you want to go for a ride how's that even funny hold on what did he actually even say let me actually check it on my fucking phone because that doesn't sound funny to me i've got a new truck do you want to come to my what anyway i'm, I'm not even gonna check it i don't give a fuck but cringe hashtag truck walk 
<laughs> oh, now you're laughing about it. How long did it take you to laugh about it now? And also, if you're the wife, how do you feel about this? <laughs> you remember when I tried to get you to suck my dick? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> babe, look, 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 it's this girl. Look, it's this woman. Remember this woman that I wanted to suck my dick <laughs> and she nearly ruined our marriage? <laughs> And I had to buy your mama a house and I had to fucking send you a trip, all expenses to fucking Las Vegas so you could forgive me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Annie, you want to you wanna truck walk still? That's good, dude. Because her boyfriend, her boyfriend was awesome. Uh-huh. Her boyfriend, me and her boyfriend got a timeshare now in Mexico. Me and that dude hit it off so well because right. he has lizards and fish. Can you imagine how much of a cuck, how much of a better, beater, better O'Rourke coded male you have to be to start sucking up to the guy who may have propositioned your girlfriend at the time or somebody you're pursuing at the time for a fucking blowjob in the front of a car. Can you imagine how much of a fucking loser of a guy you have to be to start palling it up with him? to try pretend you were friends sharing adding each other on instagram broing it up doing that whole thing that la guys do yeah 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 bro yeah yeah yeah, yeah. do that standing up straight with your fucking hats on with your trucker hats on yeah 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 yeah, yeah. drinking your fucking liquid death yeah 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 dude yeah 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 too yeah yeah, yeah yeah no doubt no doubt no doubt dude no doubt can you imagine how much of a douchebag you have to be to do that yuck bro yuck bro yuck now, to be fair to the guy, he may have not been dating Annie when it all happened, so he has no business in it, but I'm sorry. I'm a red-blooded male. I'm a red-blooded male. If I happen to cross paths, and again, it's never happened to me before, but if I happen to cross paths with a male that used to blow my wife's back out, I'm not going to be like, hey, do you want to play football? Do you want to go out and shoot some hoops? Do you want to roll around and do the old jujitsu? I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna be giving him the fucking eyes. Like, yeah, motherfucker, I'm blowing her back out now. What? What? We're not gonna be friends. I don't fucking know you. You're an op. You're a fucking op. Yet these guys, because he's famous, because he's well known, <laughs> Brendan, yeah, 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 drug walk. <laughs> I'm sorry. That might be toxic of me. That might be very. Um, misogynistic of me don't be very possessive of me but I'm a red-blooded male I don't play those games even if this is a boyfriend from fucking nursery <laughs> right from college I'm not I'm not standing there and chucking it up you're not dapping me up and giving me a high five and telling me yeah she's a good girl man she's a good girl hold on to her how about you try and hold on to your teeth motherfucker about hold on to her do you want to hold on to your fucking insides do you want to do you want to leave this place with eyes? Do you want your hearing intact? Do you like your esophagus? Do you? Do you like your esophagus? Do you love your nasal canal? Okay, if you do, shut the fuck up before I ram this big black head into your face. Come on, man. I'll just have to sit on you. You guys seen what I look like? Put you guys seen what I look like? Let me just sit on you. Let me back this thing up. Let me back this. Dee, 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 dee. Let me back this thing up and you are dying. Big up Austin Casey. Remember when I asked you who inspired Bopper to get a TRX? <laughs> Today I heard Rogan tell Sean O'Malley that he has a TRX. Oh. No. 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 Austin, no. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Rogan has a TRX. <sighs> Just when I thought Brendan was actually starting to develop a bit of personality and being a bit of an individual, because again, the TRX is not a Ford F-150. It's a bit of an alternative option. Because again, I'd never heard of a TRX before Brendan got one. I'm not balls deep in cars. I don't know about pickup car. I mean, pickup truck culture and shit. All I know is about the Ford F F F150 in the most part. I don't know about any other truck. So I only found out about a TRX through Brenner. Oh, this is a pretty interesting car. Well done on you and get something a little bit different. Now we're finding out through Austin Casey that Rogan has one. 
<laughs> Rogan has an F one four. No, Rogan has a TRX two. That makes so much sense. Why Brendan has one now, isn't it? Now we know. <sighs> Anyways, pick up Austin Ketchy. I appreciate you, brother. But yeah, I'm not having it, bro. If I'm the boyfriend, I'm not having it. I'm not there shucking and jiving about fucking lizards and about fucking fish and Rick Ross DMs and shit. No, you're an op. You said some fuck shit about my girl. You try to embarrass her. I'm having to deal with her crying at home because she can't sell out the ha-ha in fucking, you know, Minnesota, wherever the fucking shit is. I'm having to comfort her because Rogan counseled on her again because she can't get any good guests because she exposed Brendan. I'm having to fucking comfort, you know, comfort her and tell her that it's okay. I'm having to tell her that the joke feeling doesn't really matter. No one really cares. And then here I come seeing you in, in public. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> On it, yeah, man, I do on it too. Look at my shirt. Nah, man. Honestly, I don't play that way. And again, maybe it's again different cultures, different countries. You know, maybe the celebrity thing. I don't really get too tough because I, I think everybody's a regular person. But I'm not sucking up like this. I'm not having it, bro. I'm not having it. I don't care if I only met Annie yesterday, the day before fucking Skankfest. If me and if if I was a boyfriend and I only started going out with Annie the day before Skankfest officially i'm still having a problem with brendan fuck it i'm st i'm still on fucking what what time i'm giving the most limp-wristed dap i'm not being all happy happy ha 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 i'm walking off while they're talking making it known i'm staying over here when you're finished come over here man i don't care if i'm if if, if we started dating the day of fucking skankfest i'm not on no ha ha he he time you try to get to suck your dick in the fucking front seat of a car are you crazy Big up Cosmo. Did you see the black bear and where he calls Rogue and Daddy Low? What's that? Did you see the black bear where he calls Rogue and Daddy? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, what? The black bear ad? What's a black bear ad? What is that? <laughs> where he calls Daddy Rogue. He calls Rogue and Daddy. <sighs> Honestly, bro. I want to know who this boyfriend is. Why do you do this yourself? I don't care if you met her yesterday, the day before Skankfest, the start of this year. You never knew the Brendan thing happened. You should be on fucking demon time, bro. What are you dapping him up for? Fuck him, bro. You, you're in America. You got guns. So what? You can do jiu-jitsu. So what? You can umma palata you and get you in a fucking triangle choke. You got a fucking strap. Pull it out. Bust it. <laughs> That'll fucking render any martial arts mute. Oh, you got a black belt. Good. I've got a Glock. Eat that. Motherfucker. Black belt. UFC. All right. Have some of this. C -c ching Eat that in the face. UFC black belt. We don't care. <sighs> Honestly, bro. <laughs> yeah, Brendan. Yeah, yeah. We're bros. Because? And you know me, I'm ball deep in lizards and he fish. He has lizards so, and fish? So I'm telling him, weird. Does he have kids? No, he oh, has lizards crazy. and fish. That's so impressive. me and him were like, I was like, this way you should get your roaches, your dubia roaches. Brendan basically fucked Annie and the boyfriend now. You both got fucked by him. Basically, he fucked both of you. He held both of your heads down and he started sticking it in both of you like that, like that going in side to side. That's what he did effectively. He bent both of you guys down, stuffed your head into pillows and went boodum, 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 right? From side to side, like he's on fucking skis. That's what he did. The crickets, we're talking about the, the smell of crickets, how much we oh, feed them. Oh, inside or shit. Oh, dude, deep inside baseball lizard talk. See, he went deep inside your ass boyfriend, if you're watching this ever. How could you do that to yourself? And he went deep inside your lady. Look at that smile on Brendan's face. That's a smile he probably had on his face when he asked her, hey, do you want to come to my front seat and suck my dick? <laughs> you want to check out my heated seats? I mean, my heated penis. That's the fucking face he had on you. Okay? Imagine Brendan's face like that while you, Annie is fucking going all over his fucking slog. Just imagine. <sighs> Brendan, we got the same pets. <laughs> 
Yeah, inside. And I was like, I keep mine outside for the natural sun, and all. And they're getting big. And you got bearded dragons, yeah. Yeah, three of them. They're getting. My, my, big. Again, you're a better man than me. I could never do it. Son's bearded dragon died. Did or did you give him away? No, no, he died. He passed. He passed away. How does a bearded dragon die that early? I've never heard him die. He was a big boy. Uh, don't you kill all your fish? Now he's talking about killing fish. Okay, cool. They're like warthogs. We, he was a breeder, apparently. They've been using him as a breeder. As, as a stud. Yeah, and so he was older. I, I didn't know. I haven't heard of this. <laughs> I didn't know. And then... Uh, so did you guys buy him originally big? Yeah. Hey, you know what we're not going to do? Listen to two middle-aged men, or one middle-aged man and one OAP, talk about fucking fish. We're not doing that right now, okay? We're not doing that. But yeah, who gives a fuck? Annie had to apologize to save her career, which is, says a lot about the comedy scene. It's kind of sad, to be fair, um, but it is what it is. She's a grown-up. Let you do what you want to do. But I find it hilarious that Brendan said she apologized to him. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, cool, man. Whatever needs to be said, whatever needs to be done. Um, yes. <laughs> bruh, bruh, bruh. Annie's BF gets drinks for them from the fridge <laughs> and then closes the door with his hip. Thanks for keeping us alive, AZ. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And he, and he probably and he probably knocks you before he gets in. Guys, can I come in? He's got, he's got the drink right in his hand, right? He's holding my ears. Guys. Guys, can I come in? I got the drinks. Are you guys still going? <laughs> you guys are crazy. Okay, don't worry. I'll, oh, you're still busy? Oh, you're still blowing her back out. Okay, no problem. Um, pull her hair a little bit. She likes that. She likes the pulling her hair thing. Pull her hair. And she likes when you like do little round motions. Yeah, do, do little round motions. She actually enjoys that a lot. So do the round motions also. Um, and also, if you want extra points, lick her earlobe. Lick her earlobe. She really likes that too. Anyway, um, I'll be next door. I'll put the drinks in the cooler. And when you're ready, give me a shout. Or just moan like you're about to bust. <laughs> You should be ashamed. You should be fucking ashamed. Fair enough if it's, you know what? Fair enough if it's fucking Conor McGregor or some shit. Fair enough, okay? He's a fucking psycho. It is fucking Conor McGregor. Okay, whatever. Brendan Schaub. The guy that was afraid to go to the comedy festival because people were mean to him on the internet. You're there like, whoa, whoa. How do you and Annie know to know each other then? <laughs> you like fish too? I like fish. <laughs> Some shame. Did your parents raise you like that? Honestly, did your parents raise you like that? Ugh. Just there fucking wiping his fucking piece after he's finished with fucking wet wipes. Did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? Oh, great. Yeah, do you like it? She's great, isn't she? She's really good. She's a good girl. They're wiping his piece. Let me get the last bit off. <laughs> Anyways, who knows? Maybe Brendan wanted to blow his back out and said, and not even not even Annie's. Maybe we're just looking at the completely wrong way. My bad. Anyways, <laughs> it tastes better than I thought. <laughs> mm, you're a big boy, aren't you, eh? Big UFC daddy. <laughs> you could take me down anytime. <laughs> <laughs>